All right, Vir Virgo, this is your part two reading, November 2021. Love, what's on the other side of the rainbow spirit? Okay, we got second and third chances. This might be a reunion of your past. This is, again, going to be late November. This is Scorpio season energy, the judgment card is, which we leave Scorpio season after the 21st. So judgment in the upright is second and third chances. This is really putting all the pieces of the past fragments of the many lives, lives that you lived um, throughout this particular incarnation, and you're putting it back all together. There may have been a karmic falling out, especially with a Scorpio, a lot of Scorpio energy, the Scorpio season, triple Scorpio energy coming out, Sag energy too as well. The Knight of Wands is almost rushing to repair this connection. The Empress in the upright, someone is looking good, feeling good, maybe at the height of their powers energetically. This could represent you, Virgo, I wouldn't put it past. It, um, someone has not been emotionally available or receptive with the four cups in the upright, offset the six in reverse, two cups in the reverse. There was a falling out, but two cups in the reverse points to the ace of cups in the upright. So I think this is going to be revisiting someone or something in the past. Could be a Libra, could be a Taurus, could be a Sag, could be a Scorpio. Someone that's going to enter your realm, your energy once again. Again, doesn't have to be romantic in particular. Could be platonic, could be friends, could be family, spirit, highest possible messages, most exciting, awesome, life-changing messages for Virgo at this time. I don't got time to play. Okay, there was a cutthroat, win-at-all-costs mentality, win-at-all-costs energy. Burnt bridges, someone chose their own ego, someone chose their own satisfaction. So, what of it? What of it, spirit? What of it? Two swords in the reverse is coming out of a crossroads decision maybe somebody's turning a new leaf this offsets with the five that leaves with the three of swords in the in the um upright which is what we were coming out of so i would say you know obviously use your intuition use your better judgment but if this person hasn't earned your trust if this person hasn't earned your respect don't invest in them obviously the three of pentacles in the upright is all about construction possibly moving into an apartment or a new household with somebody um, could be someone from the past that you lived with that you're going to hear from again or hear about. Um, spirit, anything else? Spirit, anything else? I'm mean, getting less romantic and more unfinished business. Um, Seven of Pentacles in the upright is the Virgo energy. Something growing in slowly but surely. Coming out of a party phase or a party mode. Um, Eight of Cups in the reverse is not leaving something. Uh, you not leaving something is lack of growth or expansion. And yet, it might lead to coming out of uh, roadblock energy. You might be doing some healing here. Uh, and you're investing your time in this financial, spiritual sixth sense healing. Uh, money is a lot related to the sixth sense sometimes, you know. Unfortunately, some people don't know the value of what they have, though. But I am seeing a victory for you in love in November here with the chariot card in the upright, Virgo. Um, I'm getting that you are on your like you know a game of master manifesting and and to be honest i'm not seeing that this full card in the reverse is necessarily jumping into an old cycle I th i'm thinking it's more so new energy more so taking a current relationship to the next stage and or doing something exciting with the full card in reverse you're being advised to take a leap of faith um if anything i actually would advise against reuniting with someone from the past i really don't see them having turned a new leaf as they might be depicting it with the five of swords in the upright i'm kind of seeing more so double down on you double down on self-love tuning in you know fine-tuning the channel of the frequency of the vibe of your day-to-day -day. especially if things are doldrum or static or boring i'm really getting to really kind of inject some excitement into your life and uh, start to take new chances and new risks um, and especially if it applies to your love uh, relationship or, or dynamic Virgo. So that's what I have for you for the month of November. Feel free to reach out, obviously, for a more specific and more tailored, tailored reading to your particular situation. Um, and I appreciate your support. On to Libra Love, November 2021. Peace.